let's kick this off. So first thing, I highly recommend you fill out your customs forms online in advance. It will save you so much time. Hotel Eshkere and all its properties, Arte, et cetera, will offer shuttle transportation. Just look for these nice people in these pink shirts. Hotel Eshkere, Mexico is about an hour from Cancun International Airport. So, you know, be prepared for that journey. And it's not a bad ride. I mean, between all the visuals, the beautiful scenery, they actually do keep it engaging by providing you with all the information that you'll need for the resort. There's somebody up there talking, explaining pretty much every aspect of your trip. La persona va uh, they'll be handing out documents and there's also a check-in process. That's right. They do allow check-in on the shuttle. Check-in forms are passed out. They collect passports and all the other government documents that you might bring. And completing the check-in process, you are issued your Escaret wristbands. That's right. These are going to be your room keys, your park access, your photo trackers, your like everything. Upon arrival, you'll receive a welcome gift. Uh, it's like a mask and some handmade candies. Uh, also, there is a bad concierge in the event that your room ain't ready. Hey, and while I'm thinking about it, download the Escaret app, the park app and the hotel app if staying at an Escaret property. The hotel app never worked for me, just kind of in the spirit of transparency, but like it worked for everybody else around me. But I digress. There are sanitizing stations all throughout the property, so no need to worry about that. But look at this beautiful lobby. I actually really did like the lobby area. There's different sections to engage with staff, like the excursions, concierge, activities, concierge section over there. Handmade popsicles are also part of the welcome and lobby experience. They got lemon, caramel, chocolate, a, a bunch of different flavors. Throughout the entire state, there was never a shortage of staff ready to assist at any time with anything. So if you're like me and you always ask about upgrading at check-in, they actually have a chart for you to reference by room type and the amount increased per night. When booking, be sure to include if you're celebrating anything special. They'll reconfirm at check-in. It was our wedding anniversary and they courted us for like three or four straight days with gourmet strawberries and love notes and it got a little weird, but I'm, I'm kidding. It was, it was dope. Oh, there were so many people of the strawberry chocolates and the strawberry candy. Yeah. So Mess up the room, also gave us a bottle of wine and a super decadent cheesecake that was like too good. You know these are for mommy and daddy, right? No, it's for me too. Are you joking? After check-in, you meet with a staff member that gives you a quick rundown of what things are included and what are not included, which restaurants require reservations, all that kind of good stuff. But if you want a more detailed explanation, there is an optional concierge after check-in that walks you through everything. They're also there to help you with making those reservations and bookings, and then they kind of give you a few little drinks while you're waiting. Should you decide to, you will review a lot of information. I'm not going to go over all of it, but I will call out a few things. For example, Restaurante Ha is a Michelin star restaurant that's not included as part of your all-inclusive package. You can get up to about $200 per person. There's some reservations required for the Asian restaurant Jingao. Fuego is exclusive to the people staying in Fuego. Teatro requires reservations, and it also turns into a nightclub. You know I'm going to give you details on the restaurant, so keep up with me. Stay tuned. Our reservations are done by in-room calling only, and any excursions, bookings, reservations, all that good stuff need to be done prior to 7 p.m. the night before. That also goes for cancellations. If you book something and decide to cancel, it needs to be done prior to 7 p.m. the night before. There are some cancellation charges or no-show fees in some instances. Shelha is in Tulum, which is like a 40-minute drive. Chichen is like a three-hour drive, and so on and so forth. So, you know, just make sure you're gonna actually do stuff or just be prepared to pay a fee. <laughs> Mercado de la Merced is Escaret's buffet option. Now that we're to the food portion of this video, I can say that the lemonade is sparkling optional. That's right, you can get a plain, non-sparkling lemonade. That's a callback to one of my last Mexico videos. Keep up, folks. This is actually a pretty good sized buffet with a variety of options. Mostly Mexican, of course, but they managed to span quite a bit of options. You have an assigned waiter that takes your drink orders and any other requests before releasing you to the wild. Seasonal fresh fruits, of course they gotta have a tahine and other spices and toppings. Flashback to breakfast, and Cafe Cito offers favorites you find at your local cafe coffee and coffee adjacent drinks, um, as well as some sandwiches. 
Also, breakfast runs until noon, so for those of you that like to sleep in, take your time. Let's jump back to lunch. Cevicheria, the raw bar. Ever had ceviche? It's kind of like that, plus some other options. Nothing at this station was nasty. Flashback to breakfast at this same station, and it's licuados y jugos, or smoothies. A selection of varying smoothie blends. They've got some pre-made, but you can also get some at request, made up of your own selection of fruits and vegetables. This is also the station where you'll find cereal. They've got some Mexican versions of some classics, as well as all of your different types of milk. Garnacheria, which I thought was like street food or something, or means like street food store, but it's a station that kind of ran the gamut. I don't, I, I really don't know how many street vendors are serving like grouper and lemon butter and like stew, but hey, you know, maybe. Paria, the grill, this was definitely one of the more popular stations. The New York strip I had was a lot better than I expected, to be honest. You'll also find a lot of other turf options. You've got your chicken breast, your salty beef, your pork chop, and a few other things. And don't worry, they got surf on the other side. And at breakfast, we see the same kind of wide variety and mix. They got stuffed peppers, beans, oatmeal, sausage, a lot of different stuff that you may or may not see in this B-roll footage. But also, this is one of the three omelet stations that they got here. Heladeria, oh ho ho, this was my side of the buffet here, the sweet section. They had an elote ice cream and a cheese ice cream that was too good. Kind of remind you of cheesecake ice cream if you ever had that. <laughs> you see the vegan option? Sweets plus humor? They had me. They had me. The crepes were an all-day thing. Of course, I got a Nutella crepe for breakfast. Candy, desserts, you name it. Jump back to breakfast, and this is the waffles and pancake station, where you can build your own waffle or build your own pancake with a number of different toppings. A medley of fresh fruit options. One more time for the crepes. and it's never, ever too early for ice cream. Jump back one more time to the pizza and pasta station. Not gonna hold you. The name says it all. It's pizza and pasta. Ready-made pasta, granted, that you can add all your own ingredients to. A La Minuta was a flat top grill station offering all of your surf favorites. They even got lobster tail and scallops. Flashback to breakfast and this whole section is Danish's pastries. And the flat top grill becomes the biggest omelet station in the buffet. One last super dope thing that I did want to call out that happens at breakfast is these made to order quesadillas. As you can see, you got the ladies here making the tortillas, hand pressing the tortillas. A nice little touch of authenticity, man, that I really appreciate it. Late night family ice cream run. Ice cream, what kind of ice cream you get? Um, strawberry. And what? Sprinkles. Yeah? Uh-huh. Is it yummy? Yeah. What kind did you get? Same. Strawberry sprinkles? Yep. I got strawberry sprinkles too. Yes, you Me did. Me and you are matching dresses and ice cream. Oh yeah, y'all twinning out, twinning all the way. Yeah. Hey, twin. Uh, <laughs> I got cheese, ice cream, and cookies and cream. Cheese ice cream, kind of like cheesecake a little bit. The kids' pool and Chibali restaurant. The hotel offers a safe and walkable depth pool experience for kids with slides and waterfalls and a climbing wall. I want to say there's a good bit of seating, but because of how popular this area is, seating feels limited. There are float vests available in sizes fitting early toddler to big kid. I mentioned limited seating around the pool. I saw some parents monitoring their kids from Chibali, the restaurant right next to the kids' pool. Chibali's specialty drink offering was a sparkling pineapple juice with chipotle essence. Non-alcoholic at the kids' pool, of course, but alcohol available upon request. Focaccia bread and taro chips appetizer with a mushroom-based sauce. <laughs> the whole thing felt oddly high-end for a kid's restaurant and was not on the menu, but I liked it. 
It's your typical family style restaurant menu of burgers, pizza, pasta, chicken, some salads, some soups, but high quality and kind of with like chef inspired touches. Oh, they also have grilled octopus. I didn't get it, but if it's anything like the one at Trajinera, then why? Now, another off menu item we got hip to was this thing here, a donut milkshake. Now they have the classic big three flavors, you know, your strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, but also marshmallow, cotton candy, and a few other crazy flavors that I wanted to try. Boy, that marshmallow flavored ice cream went off and had actual marshmallow bits in it. Yeah. How was your milkshake? What was your favorite part of the milkshake? It was very good. You had a big one. I had the bigger one? Yeah, but I had a smaller one. Was it yummy? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Which one was better, your vanilla one or my marshmallow one? Um, both. Both? Mm -hmm. Good answer. Las Cuevas, the caves. Not gonna hold you. This is the must hit spot at Hotel Escaré. If you eat nothing and nowhere else, you must eat here. I know what you're thinking. Is that the line? And the answer is no, that's not the line. All of this is the line. Hold on, let me just uh, <clears throat> squeeze through here real quick. Yeah, and some more of that line and waiting back here. So we're at Las Cuevas. Um, there's a wait, 40 minutes. But we kind of figured it would be a little bit more of a, a popular dinner option. Um, recommendations come a little bit earlier, if you can. This is the thick of it. Everything is caves. The waiting area, dining area, definitely the Las Cuevas or caves thing. So, We'll be here waiting and uh, you guys will see what dinner has in store. So there is some relief. They offer drinks while you're waiting in line. I guess they already know how long your wait's gonna be. And there's a line for line for that as well. So I like the thought. Um, definitely a thoughtful touch to offer drinks outdoors while you're waiting. Yeah, so this was dinner at about 7.45, 8 o'clock-ish. Uh, again, I recommend earlier. Please note, you are in a cave. So, like, there is no cross breeze. You're in a cave eating meat in Mexico. So, prepare to sweat. Dinner is accompanied by live musical entertainment. <laughs> So Las Cuevas is a Brazilian steakhouse with stations set up around the dining room with things like sides and other entree options. Don't be like me and neglect the sides. I hear they were awesome. Me? I went straight to this smoke station for brisket and rib. Zero regrets. Seriously though, pace yourself. It's very easy to get overwhelmed, very easy to get full quickly. In my humble opinion and experience, I could have just stayed at this smoke station the entire time because it had everything that I ate. I even had the opportunity to chop it up with the grill master by his dry rub, because, hey, that's what kept me coming back. The selection of vegetables and add-ons that they had was pretty dope, too. They had all the stuff you probably would think. Onion, zucchini, but then they start throwing in pineapple, peaches, like it. Yeah, it was a good selection. Hey, I'm out here sweating, but I feel like, I feel like this smoked meat station. I really feel like this smoked meat station is going to be worth it. Just by, it, just by itself, it's gonna be worth the whole wait. I've been standing out here in this line. So if you're not familiar with the Brazilian steakhouse style of dining, they typically give you some type of sign, or in this case, they give you this wooden block with red and green indicators. Green means keep feeding me, red means stop. Pretty straightforward. On this block, you got a few different options. I mean, nobody eats or somebody's hungry or everybody's hungry. And then you have your carvers come around with different meats and other items that they're gonna serve you. If they see green, they carve it up. If they see red, they bypass your table. At Las Cuevas, they came around with stuff like turkey wrapped in bacon, sausage, smoked chicken, skirt steak, top sirloin, grilled shrimp, garlic bread, grilled pineapple with cinnamon and sugar, which boy, I did not expect. I'm a fan. 
Yeah, leave it on leave it on somebody. Cause somebody someone is still hungry. Alright, someone's still hungry because that someone is me. We We Got it very good. If I haven't made it abundantly clear yet, this was a thousand percent worth the wait. I've never had cinnamon and sugar grilled pineapple. And I really gotta say that I I mess with this, I like this flavor. I like that flavor combination especially with it being warm and you know grilled first time i'm really able to talk to y'all for real for real because the violinist was kind of showing off a little bit not gonna lie he got to a point where i was like all right like we know you good but like no i'm joking he was a uh, phenomenal uh, great dining uh, entertainment but let's talk about this food for a second she melted over the shrimp. I melted over this brisket. <laughs> brisket. She liked the brisket too. I love the brisket. Sorry. She loved the brisket love too. The brisket. But, um. I, oh, even more. Uh, I So, shrimp. That was so flavorful. Yeah. Too cold to talk. I'm cold. Yeah. I'm still hungry, so okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, hands down, um, like like there was a wait. There was about an hour wait. But a thousand percent worth the wait. So please do not be deterred by the wait. But yeah, definitely visit the smoked meat station outside. First. All the meats, yeah, Just all the meats. Yeah, that smoked meat station. I don't need nothing else. Keep the size, keep all that. What is that? Cheesy chili jalapeno with Mojaca cheese and bacon. Oh, bacon. Delicious. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, not a pork. Your boy, your boy don't do pork. But, so I can't really say anything spectacular about the drinks here because I really haven't had a bad drink since we've been here at this career. So pretty on par with the rest of the experience. What I will say is the food at Las Cuevas is definitely, bar none, best that we've had since we've been here. And the food hasn't been bad. I mean, there's been a lot of, if you've been to any resorts, if you if you frequent resorts, you know that a lot of, even at some of the best resorts, some of the food's a little mean, right? Turkey. I would have, if they didn't wrap it in bacon, I would have got it. But for those of you that partake the dine in the swine then you got something my partner in crime is full but i'm not so we're kind of at a uh <laughs> kind of at an impasse do i keep eating do i keep eating and make sure that i'm good or do i leave all the men in watching in the audience know the answer to it so We'll be back. Definitely, definitely be back. Y'all know what they say about dessert, right? I told you we had to run it back the very next night. So night two at Las Cuevas again, and definitely a different experience. Um, that's us. I'm just out here filming because, I mean, we just put our name down and we go straight in. So again, Recommendation is to get here at 6.30, it's now 6.38, and there were still people in front of us. Like, just putting a name on the list, but not like a line. So, anywho, um, yeah, so get in early.
avoid the crowd. Huh? Can you sit here? You can if you want. That's not gonna be our table, but you can wait. Yeah, that's gonna be, we're gonna have one of those at our table too. Look up. See? We're in a cave. What you think? Good. When we come back here again tomorrow. We can, yeah, if you want to. I do. All right, glad. Could you tell mommy? I will. <laughs> you know why I'm here. I think I may try some of that goat today. They had a roasted uh, smoked goat. I might try that. But they got something new on here. A piglet. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do, again, the brisket was phenomenal. Um, the Brazilian rib, I liked. And uh, I didn't get to try the bone marrow. Too much drink. And I forgot to come back. So maybe I'll do that again. Yeah, man. Now, if you've never had bone marrow before, here's your opportunity. It's all inclusive, it's not gonna cost you nothing. Just try it. Bone marrow is like a creamy fat in like the best way possible. Now you know it's good when you do a little dance. I really wanted to go up there and request Careless Whisper, but I, I refrain. What you think? Um, it's good because we can go in here next time we wake up. So you want to come back tomorrow? Yeah, when we wake up. Why do you like it so much? Because it's so much yummy food. Yeah? It's a lot of yummy food? What was your favorite? Um, all of them. All of them? That's a good choice. I said the same thing. I said the exact same thing. Do you think it looks nice inside of here? Yeah, because um, we can just go three days, like one or two or three. So. Three days in a row? Yeah. Okay. We can do that. We can come back tomorrow. <laughs> it, so, is, it is the best food here that, I've, that I've, I, I can say that for sure. Of course you can. Of course you can. Ugh. Okay. Uh, uh. How does, it, how does it look in here? Uh, it looks pretty good, but it looks a little bad. It looks a little bad? <laughs> Why does it look a little bad? I, I think I was just joking. You were just joking? Okay, yeah. that's silly. That very, is, very, very silly. Um, it's just very a lot nice in here. Play us out, Miss Saxophone Lady. La Cantina, authentic Mexican cuisine in a high energy environment. And when I say authentic, the menu includes such hits as beef tongue harachi, seared Oaxaca cheese tacos with beef cheek, and more. As soon as you walk in the door, you smell the sweet aroma of corn tortillas and the lanterns on the ceiling that you thought was just nice decor actually turns into a pretty cool little light show. chips and salsa just like you see at most Mexican restaurants with the option of fresh guac. <laughs> These chips are a little bit different though. These chips are huge. I like it though. I like it. And these state quesadillas were quote small. And just like we saw at the buffet earlier in this video, we see these nice ladies here making and hand pressing these tortillas, making your whole quesadilla by hand right in front of. I just think that's just so super dope. There are several live performances during dinner, including this one from an all women's mariachi band.
I kicked things off with a shrimp ceviche and also a surf and turf ceviche that included shrimp, dried beef, and octopus, and it was pretty good. A little bone marrow and ribeye. Not to compare everything to Las Cuevas, but the smoke preparation and the dry rub that the grill master was using, it, this bone marrow wasn't quite as good, but it was still good. So I got a little creative. And I'm gonna let one of the other live performances take us on out. Shingao, or as we called it, the Upside Down. Serving quality, authentic, and Asian-inspired and fusion dishes, including hibachi. Since this is an Asian-themed restaurant, upon arrival, you are given the option of traditional floor seating, or you can just sit at a table. So we were told Xingao required a reservation, which is true. We made our reservation expecting to be able to eat hibachi. What we learned when we arrived to dinner is that hibachi is a special request reservation only for 6, 8, and 10 p.m. So you get to learn from my mistakes. <clears throat> the welcome or specialty drink was Bushido, a passion fruit, black tea and rum fusion drink. So this was roasted pineapple with miso and chai. This was an off menu item that was given to us with our request. So shout out to the waiter. The savory, salty sweetness of the miso with the sweet tartness of the pineapple just paired so well. It was, this thing was good. wonton tostada, lobster and shrimp accompanied by a dope blend of Mexican and Asian flavors. The tostada, you gotta go right for it. For those of you that don't like shrimp with the heads on, the shrimp come with heads on. Oh yeah, this is a real shrimp. See that? Somebody enjoyed their food. Trajinera poolside dining with amazing views located right on the hotel's main infinity pool. Get there early as lines start to form fast. People really like eating with views and, and trust me, it's, it's, it's really just for the views. Breakfast is buffet style and doesn't vastly differ from the main Mercado buffet, so I won't go into a lot of detail. I'll just let this B-roll play. The standout for me was the sopes de cordero at breakfast, which is lamb in like a tortilla cup. Everything else was just typical resort buffet quality. At dinner, the standouts were the octopus and the short rib, super good. I forgot to record, but I did manage to capture this liquor encouraged spiel all about the octopus. This is octopus done right. Char on it is perfect. Texture, whole nine. I know what you're thinking. I see you. I see you with your nose turned. I do. But it's it's all inclusive. If you see my finest video, I'm gonna say the same thing. You ain't got nothing to lose. Just try it. Stop turning your nose up at everything. Just try it. I promise you. You never try octopus anywhere else. This is good. And then after you eat. You can take a dip and purify yourself in the waters of Hotel Eshkoret. Take your feet. Take your feet, come on. You wanna go faster? No. Take your feet, you move faster. Take your feet out of the water. 